Hi, Mrs. Smith. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. Good. Uh, my name is Dr. Burks. I'm a clinical psychologist here, and I'm going to be working with you today. Um, can you hear me okay and see me okay? Yeah, everything's great. Okay, perfect. Um, just to let you know, if at any time um, there's any any interference on your end in terms of um, the image being distorted or fuzzy or cutting out in any way, just let me know. Sometimes that's only on your end. Um, typically doesn't happen, but just in case it did, I want you to know that it's important for you to let me know that. Um, okay. So tell me, have you ever done a telehealth appointment before? No, I've done it on the phone. Okay. No, not like this. Okay. Um, so this is a telehealth appointment. Um, we're connecting with one another today live, um, and it's it's a way for us to be able to help provide services for you that aren't available in your area where you are. Um, tell me, what are your thoughts about it? Well, I'm confused. Do I look up at the camera or do I look down at your face? Great question. Um, do what's most comfortable for you. I think most people find it's more comfortable to not look directly at the camera. Um, so just just look where it's comfortable for you, where it feels most natural. Um, okay. And um, yeah, any any questions about it? I mean, what are your what are your thoughts about having an appointment like this? Um, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I mean, so far it seems fine. It's a little bit weird, but okay. Yeah, I think it's pretty normal and typical for it to, at first to feel a little bit odd or or different. Um, from most people's experience, after a couple of sessions, they they get used to it. They feel comfortable. Um, I think it's important for you to let me know, you know, as we continue working together, if you feel less comfortable for any reason, um, if that, if, if it becomes a barrier in any way, it's helpful for me to know. Um, in terms of, like I said, most people's experiences, they, they start to um, just feel comfortable after a couple of sessions. Um, I wanted to go over a couple things um, for the appointment that's helpful. Um, so in, in terms of the, the risks and benefits to this kind of appointment, what's important for you to know is that really the only main risk is that I'm not physically in the room with you. Um, but what I want to let you know is that should anything happen in terms of there being some sort of emergency on your end, um, I have a whole list of numbers here in my office for, um, for providers there in your clinic to contact you. Um, or to be available if anything should happen. Um, that's really... Like what? I'm sorry? Like what? What would happen? Like, I mean, if someone were to have a medical emergency, for example, um, oh. you know, it's if, if you were here in the clinic or if I were in the clinic with you, I'd be right there and be able to get you that medical attention. Um, but, but since I'm not in the room with you, what I do have is a whole list of contacts of um, the staff that are available there, um, security guard, things like that, in case anything were to happen. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, um, in terms of the benefits, you know, um, the main benefit, from my understanding of, of this appointment for you, is that this kind of treatment isn't available for you currently in the clinic. Um, and that's typically the reason why telehealth is often used, because there's a specific service or treatment that isn't available um, where the person is located um, and so that's where telehealth can be really helpful um, and um, in terms of a, a backup plan one of the things that can sometimes happen is um, for us to have a, a poor connection or for the, um, the internet to be down or the computers to be down that can sometimes impact our call and so what I want to let you know is that if at any point our call were disconnected, what I would do is attempt to call you back. Um, usually we'll attempt to call back at least three times and if we're not successful what I'll do is actually call you in the room and so if you see the phone there I have the phone number for that phone and so if there was ever a time where the call was disconnected and that phone starts ringing that's probably me calling you. Okay. Okay. Um, and, um, and I want to walk you through too um, when there's a call connecting, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to connect automatically, and so I want to let you know that. That's how this, um, your, your system is set up. Some aren't set up in that way, but 
but yours is set up to connect automatically. And so there's nothing you need to do. The call will just connect. Okay. okay. Um, so um, any other um, questions about communicating in this way today before we kind of get into why you've come in? Um, I don't think so. So the call connect, are you talking about like when you phone call me, it's going to make the machine come on automatically? Great question. Yeah, so what I mean is um, if the, um, the VTEL were to go down for some reason, I would call you back through the VTEL and that call would connect automatically. If I couldn't connect with you on the VTEL, I would call you on the telephone and then you would just pick up and, and we would talk and either finish the, re the remaining um, portion of our session or just try to problem solve to figure out if we can find a time to reschedule. Um, that okay. typically doesn't happen. Again, it's, um, it's really rare that that would happen, but I want to let you know that we have a plan in place if that ever did happen. Okay. 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 Got it. All right. Um, and then the only other thing I wanted to, to let you know is that there's no one else in the room with me here. Um, let me, um, I can zoom out a little bit, but I like to kind of show people that, um, you know, there's nothing, there's no one else in this room with me here. Um, and um, everything's confidential that we talk about um, in our appointment. Um, and so why don't we get into a little bit of a discussion about what's bringing you in today. Okay.